Hello basketball coaches and basketball players, my name is Alan from Al's Basketball Training and today I'm going to talk to you about some of my top five ankle breaking basketball drills that you can use in your next practice. Okay, so all you really need in this first drill is a pair of shoes, a pylon, a piece of clothing, whatever it may be, it doesn't matter. All you need is something to break the ankles. You can even use another player. So if you have a friend with you, you can even have him as a dummy on the court and he can then use you as a dummy later on uh, to do the same drill. And basically, you just need to break the ankles of that pylon. So, if you're a beginner, if you're like seven, eight, nine years old, you can sit here, you can stand here, you can spin the ball to yourself, get in triple threat, and then you can jump into it, you can cross, and then you're gonna, go, you're gonna drive towards the rim. You can take your shot, you can go in for a layup, whatever it may be. However, right now we're focused on breaking the ankles of this pylon. So if you're younger, spin the ball to yourself, jump into it, one dribble. And then if you're a bit older, you can dribble up to the pylon. So if, you're, if you've practiced that for a bit, now you can dribble up to the pylon. So now you're gonna dribble up to the pylon, you're gonna jump into it, cross through, and then you're gonna go and do your cross. And you're gonna start again. And then instead of going through the legs, you can go and just do a regular cross. Remember always hopping into your crossover. So what I was just doing there, is you wanna hop into it. The reason why you wanna hop into it is because it keeps you on your toes and you're gonna be a lot quicker when you're exploding out of the crossover. That way you can beat that defender in game a lot more and a lot faster, a lot easier, a lot better. And then you can even cross into it, go behind your back and then you can drive. Now you can be finishing or you may not be finishing, it's totally up to you. Personally at first, if you're just starting this drill, you don't have to go and finish. However, later on, Go up to it, cross, and then really drive to the rim. Now this second drill I'm gonna show you is called the zigzag drill. I've showed you this many, many, many times in past videos. Basically, you're gonna be dribbling up to a pair of shoes, a pylon, whatever it may be, and then you're gonna be dribbling up to it, you're gonna cross, then you're gonna get up to this pylon, you're gonna cross, and then you're gonna to drive towards the rim. You can take your shot, whatever it may be. You can have as many of these zigzags, as many of these pylons as you really want. So right now I only have three because I really don't have enough space on this camera zoom to be able to show the whole court. But if you have a whole court to your advantage, use it. It's great cardio. And let's face it, if, the, if you're a point guard and you're getting pressured full court, you're gonna be doing this motion all game anyways. So you might as well practice it full court when you can. The one thing to make sure that you're doing is going through these drills at full speed. Now each of these drills, I would go for 10 made shots at the end myself. And then from there, you're able to move on or take a 30 second break and do it again for another 10 made shots. Your break could be allowing your partner to do it or your partner could be just following behind you. After you go for your layup, he goes. After you go for your shot, he goes, that kind of thing. So, fantastic drill, especially if you're a point guard getting pressured all game, full court, this is a drill you're gonna wanna run. When you go into your crossovers again, get low, stay on your toes, keep your back as straight as possible. That way you can explode out of that crossover as fast as you can. So now this third drill I'm gonna show you is really gonna help you shoot off the dribble. So this is basically something that would happen, let's say as soon as you cross your opponent, this is basically the movements that you're gonna be doing. So in this drill, I call it the scissor drill. We're gonna be a couple of feet from the rim as I am right now. And then we're gonna be starting like this. You're gonna cr cross the ball through then you're gonna jump and then you're gonna cross the ball through again. Now, if you're a younger player, you can quite literally do just what I just did there. However, if you've done this more than once, you can go through back to back as fast as you can. And then after four, five, six crosses, you're gonna go and take a shot. Now, if you've got a partner, if you have a coach, a trainer, whatever, a parent, they can say shot and that's when you're gonna take your shot. Okay, so this next drill I call combo line dribbling. The reason why I call it combo line dribbling is because you're gonna be doing dribbling combos while going in a straight line. Now this is just basically getting you used to, if you're a little bit younger, the or even advanced, but wanna be able to work on combo dribbles or combo handles, this is really gonna help you with that. So you're gonna go straight line, you can go half court, you can go full court, doesn't really matter. 
And what you're going to be doing is different combos. And you're going to do the same combo over and over again. So you're going to do a two dribble combo over, over, and over again. So right now, I'm going to go one dribble, cross, one dribble, cross, one dribble, cross. And then next time down the court, you can go one dribble behind the back cross. And if you can't do that quick enough or perfectly enough like I just did, you're going to start again. Combo, bang, bang. And now in this fifth and final drill, this is a two pylon retreat dribble crossover drill. So basically what we're going to be doing here is practicing in game movements. And what I mean by that is these are most likely things that you're going to be doing in game. So you're going to be starting with this pylon back here. You're going to be dribbling with your left hand and you're going to be doing this on both sides. So next you'll move this pylon to the other side and dribbling with your right hand to start. But you're going to be dribbling with your left hand. You're going to get up to this pylon. You're going to jump into your crossover. You're going to retreat dribble back. You're going to cross over again. You're going to go around this pylon and then you're going to go in and take your shot. And you're going to try and do this as fast as possible. And this is something that you generally could do in game. So you're dribbling up on your opponent. Your opponent's here. He's cut you off. You can't get around him. Maybe you're not fast enough. You're going to retreat. You're going to cross over. You're going to retreat dribble. And he's probably going to be following you out. And now his momentum is following you out this way. Now if you can cross over quick enough back here to cross over. And now you've crossed him up with him going in this direction. You have now just beat him, and you can take a shot, you can pass in game, but in reality, in this drill, you're going to be shooting because you don't have anyone to pass to. So there's the five drills that I would run. Anyways, I hope that you have enjoyed today's video. If you have, hit that like button, subscribe, and I will see you guys again tomorrow.